Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, April 25th. This week, we're going to just jump right in here, Capricorn, and we're going to see what is going on for you at this time. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because uh, everybody has basically had something about the Eight of Swords and a standstill in their first row. So you have the Eight of Swords in your first row and you have the standstill card. Uh, this could be a good thing though. You have the chariot, so it's like there's some, you're moving towards something new here. Uh, I'm not even worried about the five of wands. I really, actually, personally, I like the five of wands, especially if it comes up with a card like the chariot. To me, the five of wands is a card I call Indiana Jones. To me, it represents going on some sort of crazy adventure. Could be a learning adventure, but there's like usually a big reward at the end of it. Those people, they represent like teenagers, you know, they're meant to look immature. It's a card of immaturity, <laughs> but it can also be a card of learning and that's exactly what they're doing. You start off with this standstill card. Again, luckily this is coming up in your past position. So I'm not really necessarily worried about this for you, Capricorn. I feel that for some of you, you're just coming off of a standstill. I'm getting like, like the word whole new understandings or something like that is popping into my head right now. So I feel that you have new understandings about things that are that have happened in your life. You have the Eight of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Five of Cups. I get like a great sense of maturity here, actually, going from here to here. It is pretty, look at this, five, five, five. <laughs> uh, that, that's pretty interesting, five, five, five could be an important number for you, but uh, it's kind of weird that I feel good about this first row, even though it is your past position. So even if it was a bad row, wouldn't really matter, but. I feel positive in the sense that uh, I feel like there's a sense of maturity where it's like you're having these understandings about things and I feel like you're look you are actually looking at things in a very mature way. It's kind of funny that I said immature at the beginning of the reading which the five of wands represents. But again, it wouldn't represent like you being immature necessarily, but I kind of get the sense of maturity and that's exactly what has set you free here. The uh, temperance card can represent looking at things from you know kind of like different perspectives. The angel is mixing water back and forth between two cups on this card, trying to turn water into wine. So I feel like for a lot of you that you are kind of like turning one thing into another, and uh, that could be very beneficial for you with this temperance card. And uh, finally, you have the five of cups. Five of cups is a card of forgiveness. I mean, it's not a card of forgiveness. It is weird that I just said that. Forgiveness could be part of it, but it's a card of gratitude. And the last card you have is the spirit of gratitude. So I feel like gratitude obviously is gonna be very important. He's crying over spilt wine right here because he's lost his taste for wine. That's the story of the guy on the five of cups. If you were to turn around and be grateful for these two cups here, he would see this bridge in this castle over here. So it kind of represents sadness because you have lost your taste for something that you have once enjoyed. And I feel this uh, for a lot of people right now, so it doesn't really surprise me. Uh, next, you have the Justice card. I, I really feel justice is about balance, but I also think the universe is encouraging people to find new things that they enjoy. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, you know, it's crazy that a couple weeks ago, the tower came up for everyone. The tower represents the people inside the tower have been ignoring reality. They've been looking at the world the same for too long and things need to change. And I kind of get that for you here, Capricorn, where it's like, yeah, I, you know, the justice card represents justice, but I literally feel like it re is representing just trying new things in your life. Like I feel like the universe wants you to mix it up. And the reason I say this is that the justice card represents cause and effect, meaning if you do something, do you get a result? And if you don't, then you need to try something else. And the justice card really kind of represents that. Uh, you have the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. I definitely see this as a financial uh, improvement here for you, Capricorn. Did I just say Taurus? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm losing my mind this week, Capricorn. But uh, what I would say here is that I feel that there could be some financial improvements for you very specifically. I do feel like you're kind of like taking control of your finances with this Chariot card. Um, a lot of people have been getting the Chariot as well, but... I definitely feel like this is an, uh, kind of like a victory for you. And if you are doing anything new, and I feel like I've said this to you recently, new business, new job, new relationship, anything, I feel there's gonna be a lot of happiness and a lot of things to be grateful for um, based off your last row. So I'm a big fan 
of any changes that you could be making with this chariot energy. So if you're moving, traveling, doing any of those things, I feel this would be, uh, or just doing anything new, I feel like this will be very successful for you. Five of Pentacles, need, I feel you need to be very careful of your thoughts. Um, Five of Pentacles specifically says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Five of Pentacles can represent feeling weak or, you know, feeling like certain things are weakness uh, or it can say that you do have weaknesses, but it just says, do not call attention to your weaknesses, right? And uh, with the Six of Pentacles, again, another card of trying things. He is holding this, like the balance, just like on the Justice card here, and he kind of represents cause and effect as well. To me, I look at the Six of Pentacles as a card of planting seeds. I look at it as a card of needing to try, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, <laughs> and seeing seeing what grows in your life. I think that'll be very successful for you, Capricorn. Uh, at the end here, you have this Spirit of Gratitude card. So clearly, being grateful for what you do have is going to be very beneficial for you here, Capricorn. I feel there are a lot of benefits in general from, you know, from being grateful for the things that you have, and that's exactly what I would do uh, with a Spirit of Gratitude card. Um, you know, because again, I feel like it's just going to lead to more benefits. You have the five of wands, the sun, and the ace of cups here. The sun is a card of happiness. It's a card of gratitude. <laughs> it's a card of good things coming in for you. There's a flow with the sun. He has this banner in his hand, and the banner is meant to look like something very light. He's not struggling to carry that banner. I feel anything that you can do, you know, it, it seems to me like things are just getting easier. And I, I don't think life ever is truly easy, but I think things are improving. Things are getting better for you. Things are maybe easier to handle and easier to carry. The Five of Wands is a card that I call Indiana Jones. I feel any adventures that you could be going on will be very, you know, kind of successful for you. I feel like they'll, they'll be very beneficial for you with this Five of Wands. We really need to kind of learn as much as we can with the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of education. They are using sticks in on this card. They're not using swords. So it's kind of like they're they're not fighting with swords. They're using sticks. It's like they're not they're training. They're learning how to fight. So anything you're doing that could lead to education, I feel would be very 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 abundant for you. With the Ace of Cups, I feel like your emotions are overflowing. A lot of happiness. To me, I, really, if I'm being honest, I, I just only feel that this is saying that you feel like your energy is being put to good use. And this is going to be in the near future, Capricorn. So I love this. It could be love, but you know, kind of like more intuitively, I feel like it's saying that the things that you put your energy into, whether it could be love, business, money, spirituality, whatever, uh, I feel that you feel like there, it's going into the right things. You feel like your energy is being used properly. So I love that. Uh, we're going to clarify this here, Capricorn, and let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. <laughs> Basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. So definitely time to set yourself free. The Eight of Swords literally just says you got to mix things up. You got to do something different. I have a crazy experiment. Th that's a clue. Uh, coming to my new channel uh, probably sometime next week. Actually, the week of the 25th. And um, part of the reason is because I feel like we got to mix things up. We got to do things differently. And that's what the universe is asking for. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Three Cups. Uh, well, team, teamwork makes a dream work, Capricorn, as always. Anything you can do with other people, I feel will be extremely beneficial. Working with other people, working on a team, uh, starting new projects, you know, any of that. Really good card for family support as well. Uh, with the Five of Cups, you have the Three of Swords. There's the past heartbreak. Uh, I'm pretty sure every single sign has had the Three of Swords. So Three of Swords really represents needing to let go of like past hurts. It is also a card of forgiveness. And when you forgive, you know, it's not saying that you're forgetting anything. It's just saying you're removing these swords from your own heart so that you can set yourself free. And it doesn't have to be you actually going to a person and forgiving them. It just means that you forgive in your own heart so that you can set yourself free. And again, I do feel that's part of the gratitude here. With the chariot, you have the emperor. It's like something's clicking finally here uh, for you, Capricorn. Sometimes I think when we finally understand something, we, when we finally gain an understanding of like how the world works or how a certain thing in our life works, it's like, boom, we, we take off. We finally have a plan. And I, I get that feeling for you here because two cards of hard control here. The chariot is a card of hard control. 
the Emperor usually represents like controlling energy. Um, there are really only two cards of control in the tarot, the, the Chariot and the Strength card. The Chariot is hard control, Strength card is soft control. The Emperor, it is a card of control, but it's a card of controlling, which is a little bit different. Um, but I do feel that's what's happening for you here. It's like you finally gain an understanding. You're finally taking control of a plan in your life, and it's going to lead to the sun, probably happiness, success. With the Five of Pentacles, yeah, something has to die. Everybody's been getting this. I really feel that it's just the eclipse. Um, we have an eclipse on the 30th uh, of this week, basically, at the end of the week. So, you know, anything that needs to die <laughs> in your life, I would let it go. We're talking about projects, businesses, um, old beliefs as well. Anything that you feel like is holding you back, any limiting beliefs, all those things should be let go of. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the King of Pentacles. I, uh, really, to me, the King of Pentacles is kind of like our own worst, is our worst enemy right now. King of Pentacles is the way things have always been done. It's a card of convention. Um, so, you know, it's kind of like a card of comfort. And I do feel that uh, comfort is really not a good thing for us right now because it's like none of our answers are going to be found in the past. And basically, comfort is us just doing the same thing every single day. And one of my favorite people of all time, John Taffer, he says, if you're doing the same thing today that you did yesterday, you're stuck. So I kind of feel this energy where we all need to get, our, get out of that. I, I feel like we need to get out of the stuck energy. I feel like we need to get out of the, you know, doing things the same way that they have always been done. And if we can do that, we'll be very successful. If we can't, then we will be stuck. Uh, with the five wands, judgment card, answer the call. Again, these people are in their coffins. They are in a coffin, which represents their past life. Their higher self angel is calling them out of the coffin so that they can step into their new life. I feel people are a little bit conflicted about stepping into their new life. They're not sure, are, am I making the right decision? I have all these questions rushing around my head for you, Capricorn. So you might be asking, am I making the right decision? Am I doing the right things? Am I moving in the right direction? I would say yes, clearly. It's like you have a plan. Something is clicking. Emperor, chariot, right? <laughs> uh, with the sun, you have the five of swords. Look at all these fives. You have every single five in the tarot. That is crazy. I don't think I've ever had a reading with every single five. Five of swords is about walking away from things that no longer serve you. It is also a card of winning at all costs. Uh, we'll I think we're going to pull an extra row here at the end and just kind of see. <laughs> um, I said that. And the cards go flying everywhere because uh, I don't know why. But let's fix that. But that's like, that was like the mess, the message of the universe saying no, right? But I don't know. We're going to do it anyway. So let's see. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands uh, going on some sort of crazy adventure. Everybody's had the Knight of Wands as well this week. Like, what do you truly want to do with your life? That is the question that I would ask you. If it, Really, the question I would ask you is if everything worked out 100% perfectly, if you had your 100% perfect life, it, like what would it look like? What would you do? I feel like you need to do that thing. Most of us come up with excuses. We say like, I can't do this because of my children. I can't do this because of my job. I can't do this because of whatever. But usually the, the things that we say that are the reason we can't do something are exactly why we should do something. It's like, if you want to start a business and you're saying, I can't because of my children, it's like, maybe you should exactly for that reason, for your children, you know? Or if it's something else, whatever it is, you know, maybe that's exactly the reason you should do something. I kind of get that feeling here. Uh, let's see, Capricorn. Uh, top row outcome in the world. Uh, major accomplishment, success, abundance, just, you know, good things coming in for you. Uh, middle row, success, abundance, uh, you know, card of excellence as well, the six of wands. So a lot of positive attention. Maybe that's the scary thing is like, if I do this, what happens if I become famous? What happens if, uh, you know, what happens if I start this business and make $10 million? Believe it or not, that's scary for people, you know, doing something like uh, amazing in you know, I think it is scary for people. It is scary. It's like, what, what, happened, what do I do with all this attention? What if I don't want attention? What, what if like all this other stuff happens? I get a lot of questions here, mostly on that five of wands for some reason. Kind of makes sense because the five of wands is conflicting energy, but uh, I would encourage you to push it. There's a lot of success here. Son, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, this is an amazing reading. I would encourage you to move towards something you're afraid of, or maybe you're not afraid of it, but maybe you have to let go of something and move towards something else. And I feel like it's going to be very successful for you. I see a lot of travel here, by the way. So if you're traveling or moving, that would make perfect sense to me here with this energy. I have a ton of Capricorn in my chart, and I'm traveling a lot over the next couple of months. You're going to see it <laughs> on this channel because my videos won't be here in the near future. But um, what I would say 
is that uh, it could be traveling or moving. I also do see something about love here. It's kind of weird in the background. I feel like that's normal for you, uh, Capricorn. Like I feel like every reading I do for you, it's like love is there, but it's kind of, you know, in the background here. Um, so it could be someone trying to approach you, but uh, this looks really good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch the your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.